So, um, yeah, I just wanted to do a quick video just to illustrate um, a wine fault I've not come across before, but I've read about. Um, it's just quite interesting. So yesterday I opened this bottle of Aligote and um, I noticed the texture was like almost slightly viscous. It was richer when I poured it. And then when I just finished the bottle today, I poured the last bit out and I found this. It's like a string of, um, it's like a string. That, so you can see it swirling around in the glass there. Um, um, it's kind of really, um, it looks kind of like weird almost like a worm of some sort but it's like a a string of uh, it's kind of got little tendrils attached to it and this was in the bottom of the bottle so what i'm thinking is that that was actually my first encounter with a ropiness and the wine tasted fantastic i mean i'm not going to drink this glass it looks a bit too weird to drink um, but there you go so this could be my first ever encounter um, with ropiness in a wine and um you know, this is a no sulfites wine. Um, so I'm gonna do some reading up on this particular wine fault. So this is the Aligote I had yesterday. Um, and just pouring the last bit out, I got this kind of weird stringy sort of, um, weird stringiness. And it's like, this explains why the, the wine was, was really viscous, because I think this is an example of ropiness in the bottle. 